What's going on, comic fans? It's your boy, the Bearded Comic Bro, and it is officially 2020, and I am seeing things perfectly now. All right, scratch that. <laughs> Already losing them on the dad jokes. Let's... <sighs> Better put your word out. Get ready for the nerd out. Better put specs on. Better break necks on. I caught handsome checks for my expansion sets. They call me Obi-Wan. Act like you know me, son. Hey, comic family. It's your boy, the bearded comic bro. It's officially 2020, which means 2019 is in the past, and it is time for me to share what are some of my favorite books of 2019. Now, I know what you're saying. Ugh, does the world really need another podcast about comics? Probably not. But I figured, you know what? Let's do this. I get it. I know there's more podcasts out there than there are variant covers of Spawn 300, but this is just something I want to do. I want to share what some of my loves of 2019 were. So here's my pickups. Uh, this is the Bearded Comic Bros top 10 of 2019. Now, to be in this top 10 list, it was very simple. You had to at least have five issues in, your, in this run uh, happen in 2019. So we'll have some that started in 2018 and 2017, um, some that might have just started in 2019, uh, some that were towards the tail end of 2019, but they got five issues in. So that's kind of where I'm running into this a little bit. Also, keep in mind, these are just my favorites. I'm not in any way seeing these are the best comic series they are to me because that's what I love and read. However... Let's be honest, there are so many good books out there that I haven't even scratched the surface yet. So I just want you guys to share with me, what are some books that you guys liked? Let me know, what am I missing out on? Just gotten back into the collecting game real recently, so I'm still fresh. Full disclaimer, right up front. I'm a DC guy at heart, so a lot of the books to start are DC. Just being honest, uh, Marvel is not on this list a lot. It's not, I love Marvel movies. I love Marvel. Um, so there's no hate towards it. Uh, I'm already starting to pick up some new series coming up this year. So, which I know they're going to be cracking my top 10. But I just want to look. So, if you're like looking at the video, like, oh, where's Marvel books? Well, they're not mostly going to be here. I'm just throwing that up here. So, if you shut it off now, I get it. I understand. So, but. So, again, these are my top 10 books of 2019. Up first, number 10 is Batman. I love that Batman is near and dear to my heart. My mom said that Batman was one of my first words I said, so I'm always going to have a passion and love for Batman. Um, really, you can't do too much wrong with Batman in my eyes. This run uh, just ended a couple weeks ago, actually. Tom King has been doing it for 85 issues so far. I've loved it. I know some people aren't huge Tom King fans. I've thought it's great. I love all the artists that he brings into the series. Um, I love a lot of the storylines, the arcs, and stuff that has been going on. And I'm just excited to uh, to see where uh, James, who's picking up, uh, James Tynan, yeah, where James Tynan's picking up later. Uh Excited to see what he does with the, with the property. I think it's going to be good. It's going to be great. Um, but I love Batman. So Batman was made it up into the top 10 right there. Number nine on my list. We got an independent book here from Image. Uh, it is the Thumbs. It was a five-issue run. Uh, Sean Lewis, Hayden Sherman did it. it. takes place in this dystopian kind of world because um, we don't have enough of those already. But I just like the take on it of... Uh, and how they did it. Uh, the art really wasn't my style when I first got into it. However, it was one of those books that as you look at the art, it really does fit with the book. Um, it's really raw and rough. Um, I don't even want to say chicken scratchy because it sounds bad, but it just was a very uh, rough art, and I didn't like it at first. Um, when I first picked it up, I was like, ah. Uh, but as I got into the story more, it really went really well with um, where they were taking the book, where they were taking this world. 
Um, if you haven't checked out Thumbs, definitely pick up the trade. It's a short five. Uh, I think I said it was about five issues. Uh, really cool storyline, though, how they did it. Um, so definitely check that out. <clears throat> Up at number eight is Shazam. See, I didn't know much about Shazam. I wanted to check it out because of the new movie that came out in 2019. And so I was like, I'm going to re start reading the series, prep for the movie. That was my problem right there. Jeff Johns was behind it, and he's a super busy dude, so they did not put out issues very consistently. I'm just happy that we have at least five issues in 2019. I think it actually was like on eight, and it started in February, I believe. So as you can tell, there's been some gaps, and I think that's hurt it from fan standpoint. But man, it's just a fun series, though. Uh, like I said, I didn't know much about Shazam, so I jumped into it. I picked it up. Uh, I think this is a great series to start to kind of learn the mythos of Shazam, what Shazam's about. Uh, if you see, if you've seen the movie, it um, I think it helps. Uh, just as a companion alongside the movie really well as um, the art's beautiful. It's kind of in this kid cartoony. Um, the cover really is depicts it really well. It's just is a beautiful book, um, but it's really fun and it's just been a fun adventure. I'm excited to see where it is, where he goes from here. I just, I want it to be more consistent because I like it that much. So, um, so that's eight. That was Shazam uh, up next at, Number seven, we have Killer Groove. Uh, this is put out by Aftershock. Um, so uh, this is another one of those five issue series. Uh, love it. It is. It is a tons of fun. Um, Ollie Masters uh, um, is behind it. It's a really cool. This is one of those books that if you if you had a soundtrack to the comic. Um, I think like it would only enhance it. Um, really cool kind of murder mystery uh, with some unique twists on it uh, that's wrapped around uh, music as a baseline through it. Uh, again, it just was a fun read. Uh, if you haven't, if you didn't check out Killer Groove at all, by all means, pick it up, pick up the trade. Uh, it's a short, it'll be a short, quick read. Uh, I had a lot of fun with this, uh, and I was excited that I came into it and got to see it. So, um, again, Killer Groove, number seven. Whoo! Yes. Let's go. Number six. Now, I know what you're saying. Ooh, a little bit of controversial pick here, but it's Heroes in Crisis. I really dug this book. Um, again, it's a Tom King book, and I know some people are like, not Tom King fan. I, you're either a Tom King fan or you're not. Um, I feel like there's probably very few that are in between like I am, but I liked it a lot. I thought it was a lot of fun. It was some cool perspectives on some things that um, as you're dealing with the different heroes in the DC universe, which I just thought was a lot of fun. Uh, I know he took some routes and some angles with certain characters and that people weren't fans of. I didn't really have a big connection to that character, so I, I can't feel what people are feeling, but I, I get it. Um, Man, Clay Mann, I believe, did most of the art on this book, if not all of it. And he is an amazing artist, which just gets me so excited for Tom King and Clay Mann's run on the Bat and Cat um, that's coming out here in 2020. Like, it just is going to be awesome. I'm stoked for it. I'm excited. I hope you guys are. Um, let's go long live Bat and Cat, right? Um, so that came in at number six. Up next, gang, at number five is Batman Curse of the White Knight. Uh, this is done by Sean Murphy. And uh, one of the first trades I picked up when I started collecting back at the end of 2018 uh, was the original uh, Batman uh, White Knight. Love the book. If you haven't read Batman White Knight, stop this video right now. Go read it. You will not be disappointed. Um, so this is a continuation off of that run, uh, The Curse of the White Knight. Really cool. Um, checking out the mythos between uh, Joker and Batman and Azrael comes into this scenario, um, which brings back all my love from the late 90s of the Nightfall series um, and things like that. So, like, come on. like. Uh, but this has just been a really fun – Sean Murphy – I feel like they're just like DC's like it's black label. Do whatever you want to do with Batman mythos. We're cool with it. And Sean Murphy's kind of like, all right, let's go. I'll do it. And so this has been a fun ride so far. 
definitely recommend checking out. But if you have not read White Knight first, stop what you're doing. Turn off this podcast. Come back later. Read it, though. It's so good. You don't have one, call me. Loan it. I'll drive one over to you, and you can read it. It's that good. Like, ugh. Um, so check it out. That's number five. Coming in at number four is my first and only Marvel book on the list. Absolute carnage. What a fun ride this was. This was an event. Um, whew. Donnie Cates killed it. Uh, Ryan Stegman did the artwork on this. This is a really cool book. Uh, it's one of my gems now of my collection. I saw Donnie and Ryan at a con a couple months ago. Uh, and Ryan did this sweet sketch of carnage for me. Uh, but what a fun ride this was, bringing in all the different uh, characters of the Marvel world and the interconnection of Carnage. I just had a really fun time. This made me really like uh, and start to dig into Donny Cates. And you guys are like, what, this made you? Again, you got to remember, I'm coming in new, back into collecting. I just started a year ago, so I'm trying to pick up everything new. But, um, man, this was fun. If you didn't check out the Absolute Carnage by all means, this is a series that you got to check out. It's number four. So coming in at number three, we got Second Coming. This should have been another DC book, but it's not. Uh, there was a lot of outrage uh, when DC announced it from the Christian community. And uh, so DC dropped it. Ahoy came in, picked it up. Um, they just really started releasing issues of series. Uh, this is done by Mark Russell. Art's done by Richard Pace. Uh, if you don't know Mark Russell, he did um, uh, did the Flintstones run a couple years ago, which is uh, which was a lot of fun. If you haven't read those, um, but this is just a really cool concept of what if Jesus came down and was uh, was roommates with a Superman type of figure. Um, I wish people would have read this book before there was this huge outrage because I think more people would have enjoyed it. Uh, if you have not checked out Second Coming, definitely check it out. It has been a fun ride so far. So uh, that's coming in at number three. Coming in at number two, we have Deceased. Um, holy cow. If you have not read Deceased, check it out. Um, they, man, they go buck wild with this. And you're like, there's no way. Oh, that's, oh, oh, you going, you went that route? Oh, okay. Um, no one's safe in this. And it was a blast. I think it was five issues within a, a run. Um, within a standout kind of issue with it. Uh, so I think there's like six total, a lot of fun where they're just like, what can we do? And just can really mess up with the DC world and they have fun with it. And, um, you think, Oh, that will never happen. And they like, okay, yeah, it will. They're just like, watch. So yeah. And number one, my favorite series of 2019 was Harleen. Uh, this is a DC Black Label book. Uh, there's three of them in this run. And this takes you just kind of the journey from uh, Harleen Quinzel to her transformation from uh, psychiatrist at Arkham to then her you know, transition into Harley Quinn. And uh, I'm not the biggest Harley Quinn fan, to be honest with you. And there's like 13 Harley Quinn Joker books out by DC Black Label right now. But this is by far my favorite one. This is by far my favorite book of 2019. It has been a blast. Um, the art's beautifully done. The story is really cool. Uh, seeing the just kind of the, they do a really good job transitioning from who she was to where she got to, how she got to, who she is now. If you haven't checked out Harleen, again, this is my favorite one of any of the Harleen Joker books coming that have come out in 2019, so definitely check it out for sure. Um, and yeah, this is my number one. So that is my top 10 list from 2019. I hope you guys enjoyed it. By all means, um, comment below. Tell me what books I'm missing. I know I'm missing out on so many good reads. Uh, comment below. Let me know. Uh, what books I got to check out, play catch up on. Um, what books are you looking forward to in 2020? Um, so that way I can get ready and get gearing for those. Uh, I'm excited for 
just getting to read all these comic books that are coming out. So make sure you comment, let me know what's going on. Hoping to do some more videos here soon. Uh, so be on the lookout. Uh, feel free to subscribe. Uh, let me know what content I should create. Uh, I have some ideas and some visions and some goals, but we'll see where we go. So, all right, have a good one.